it's time to start working on this beast, start pulling it apart. So, uh, got it all set up in the garage, got my garage all cleared out, give myself plenty of room. Figured I'd, uh, before I start pulling it apart, I'll show you what I got going on. fascia off it's actually not that tough uh, what is it uh, three bolts on the bottom each side uh, two underneath the lights and some clips across the top and we get all that out of course the fun part is what fell out so uh, rusty old screwdriver and an old uh, oil cap so uh, those got fell down inside there so it's kind of funny so we'll keep following the instructions and uh, keep pulling this in All right, so making some progress. I got the, uh, I don't know if I had the beam on there, but I got the back of the rear beam off. Got the catalytic converter off. I was really, like I soaked the bolts with uh, PB Blaster and uh, with my air wrench, I was able to get them off. So that was, I'm really happy about that. Those can be such a bear. So now I'm just gotta um, get my muffler out. So, uh, you know, the one thing that's tough is you get the little rubber, little rubber mounts. These are hard to get off, so I may just cut them off and be done with it and get some new ones. So, making some progress. opened up I just pulled the belt off uh, which is a good thing to do while it's still in there since I can now just remove some accessories so I don't have to pull those apart but one of the things to think about is that you got to remove the coolant and the radiator is in the front obviously the engines in the back so you've got coolant lines that run the whole length and uh, this little tiny engine takes uh, almost three gallons of uh, coolant so uh, there's two lines there's uh, obviously a supply and a return get down underneath here and there's two 12 millimeter bolts right there right there kind of dead center right behind the front wheels so uh, I'm gonna drain this out now and uh, that'll be the next thing <laughs> 